Hey fam, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. We are gonna be talking about this week's episode of The Real Housewives of New York City. So get yourself a coffee, a cocktail, or a mocktail, the one that I am drinking. So The Marge from The Real Housewives of New Jersey partnered with a mocktail line called Mingle. I have a few bottles of this. This is her limited edition Cranberry Cosmo. It's a sparkling mocktail. And I decided why not pour myself a glass while we talk about the Real Housewives of New York. This is delicious. I am three years sober and I love or loved myself a Cosmo. So I get to now enjoy a non-alcoholic Cosmo and it's freaking refreshing on a hot summer day. Perfect. Let's talk about this week's episode of The Real Housewives of New York City. This is my opinion about it. So let the Mexico trip continue. So we find out why Ramona is actually upset with Leah about what happened at the 50 Girlfriends party. Ramona thinks that Leah purposefully lifted up her dress when dancing with Luann to show all of Ramona's friends her vagina. Ramona said she didn't do it. I'm protecting you. Did you do that? This is crazy. Do what? Lift up my skirt so everyone can see my bodysuit underneath you're like this? Y'all, yeah! I have no words. Ramona needs to keep my vagina out of her mouth. Who, who concocted this story? Ramona, you batshit. This is like next level crazy. And we finally have gotten Sonia to bed. She should not even have come to that dinner in the first place. There, I said it. So Dorinda then goes down to check on Ramona because in true Ramona fashion, as soon as the spotlight's on her ass, she runs away. So she's down in the cabana and Dorinda goes down to check on her and immediately Ramona starts saying, you're drunk, you're drunk, drink water. I'm drinking water because I don't want to look like the other ladies. I drink water because I can't be around you girls anymore. Well, I, I was it's like, it's crazy. You, you guys you. are crazy. You are, okay, drink you're, some you're... water. Drink water. Ramona, girlfriend, this is not a good look for you. True Ramona fashion, just trying to deflect and deny and get the spotlight off of her so she doesn't have to directly deal with any issues in any way, shape, or form. So Dorinda is just trying to talk to Ramona calmly, and instead of just listening like a real friend, Ramona just goes and starts saying, you're drunk, you're this, you're that, go drink water. It's just, it's not cute at this point. And Dorinda, y'all, she's really trying to hide that bait from us. Like, we see you. And now Luann, she then goes down to try to talk to Ramona. And I just don't know how any of them can be any type of beacon of light for sobriety because they've all had their fair share of drinking issues in the past. These ladies enjoy being cocktail queens. And Ramona, did you forget about turtle time? Did you forget that you have a line of Ramona singer Pinot Grigio? Did you forget that you enjoy having multiple glasses of Pinot Grigio? Like, did all of that just happen to slip your mind? Can I get a Pinot Grigio that I brought? Can I have a glass of Pinot Grigio, please? So I will have a Pinot Grigio, absolutely. I need a Pinot Grigio immediately. <laughs> need my Pinot Grigio at all times. Ramona, you've got to stop being the judge and the jury. And then Ramona saying that Luann and her are the most normal of the group. Luann, you and I are so normal compared to everyone here. It's scary, okay? Okay. So Dorinda, her feelings are very much hurt about what Ramona did to her, and she starts crying. Say that she made a movie of my Pinot Grigio. Oh, yeah. Dorinda. That don't. 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 Lou comes back up with Dorinda and Leah after talking to Ramona and Dorinda wants to know what was said about her. So Dorinda is just filling her in and immediately Dorinda starts saying, I didn't go to jail for my drinking. You went to jail because you drank. You went to jail for your drinking. She doesn't judge you. No, we went to jail on your drinking. Yikes. We need to put all of this behind us. 
seriously. Every single one of them has had their fair share of mishaps with drinking. Whether it be throwing a wine glass in someone's face, whether it be turtle time, whether it be getting arrested, getting a mugshot, acting a fool, getting angry, grinding on someone, throwing flour, like whatever it is, we've all had our fair share of issues with these ladies and their drinking. So neither one of them can have any type of real valid argument for anyone's drinking issues. I also forgot to mention, gonna squeeze this in here real quick, when Dorinda tried to go down and talk to um, Ramona, Ramona told her to go to AA. You're the one with the drinking problem, you and Sonia. You should both go to AA. That is not cool. <gasps> so it's Finally, a new day in Mexico. Time to put all that batshit craziness behind us and start new. So Leah and Dorinda the next morning, they are talking about the previous night. Leah is just trying to tell Dorinda not to shoot the messenger because Dorinda went so hard on Luann when Luann was simply just trying to relay a message that Dorinda wanted to know about what was said about her from Ramona and Dorinda just nails Luann to the cross like it is not cool. She said and God knows in the past you have drank. No, she didn't say yeah, she, on, honestly, I, she did. Yeah. That was never said, Dorinda. Dorinda is is just freaking making up stories. Dorinda just can't be wrong ever, but she's wrong. I just think we need to let all of this shit go. Let's call it alcohol, blame alcohol on it, and let's just put all this shit to bed. Please. So we also found out why Sonia got so drunk the night before. This drug gives you drunken sailorness look. It's a water pill to dehydrate you. She was taking a water pill, like a dietary pill to help her lose weight and it dehydrated her. So that made all of the alcohol that she was drinking and whatever the fuck was in her wine glass. No, and I don't know what the hell is she drinking. I have no idea what that is. Just enhance the effects of the alcohol. And here comes Ramona again, Miss WebMD. I don't care what kind of medication you are on, a sleeping pill, uh, anti-mood depressant, anything. If you take alcohol with it, yeah. it makes you worse. And Dorinda, she does have some anger issues. She gets so defensive, so angry, hits below the belt as soon as anything that is mentioned that remotely she doesn't agree with. She just goes on the defense and it's just... Also, not a good look. I feel like everyone on this cast right now has some sort of drinking problem. Let's just be real. I just feel like this season's alcohol consumption is on another freaking level. Like, I don't know what is going on or what the producers are thinking, but the abuse of alcohol this season is not enjoyable to watch. I'm sorry, it's not a good look. They should just be giving them mingle and just letting them have a mocktail. There, I said it. So now Ramona has the time to use the internet and knows how to use Google. I look up anger management problems. Anger becomes a problem when you have trouble controlling it, causing you to say or do things you regret. Well, of course. Because when she was talking about Leah's mental health issues, she said that I don't have time to use the internet. I don't have know how to use the internet. Blah, 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 blah. A friend found this blog of Leah and she has bipolar disorder. Aha, it all makes sense now. But here you are, Miss WebMD, Googling anger issues and self-diagnosing Dorinda. Hypocritical, hypocritical much. Not a good look. Not a good look, Ramona. I don't know. We all know that Dorinda is having some serious anger issues this season. Like, that is not any secret in any way, shape, or form. Motherfucking cat side of the bag. We know, Dorinda, you're angry at life. We get it. But it's honestly because she's never given herself the time to deal with the death of her late husband, Richard. Now all of those feelings that she's suppressed for so many years are now boiling up and bubbling up and being released in the most 
and appropriate ways possible. And I think she just needs to go to therapy and talk about her issues and just get it out. Because if you go and see someone and talk about the feelings that you have, you're gonna feel so much better. Trust and believe I'm a huge fan of therapy. Thank you very much. So now Ramona is apologizing to Leah because Ramona made such a big stink over Leah's behavior at her 50 girlfriend's birthday party. So Ramona is attempting to apologize and just saying, my head got in the way. I hold you to a different standard. Your bar, I set the bar so high for you. I have a special place in my heart for you. Blah, 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 blah. I have a special place for you because I have these feelings for you. For some reason, I have these expectations of you or maybe I'm holding you to a higher bar or I don't know what it is. I love a good rapology. Get it? Ramona apology. A rapology. Put it on a t-shirt. She's just rambling on and on and on and it's just... So, Ramona, she is a apologizer. I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry I let my feelings or expectations affect everything. I just want to go forward with you. Okay. So, all the ladies are finally made up. And now we're going on a camel ride, and Leah has a camel toe. I have a camel toe right now, and it's <laughs> killing me. Oh. Flashbacks, anyone? <laughs> And damn, Sonia, your camel looks crazy. Not so Why, right, that last camel looks feisty. <gasps> That's the first camel. Which one? This one? <laughs> All right, Leah, look at me. Oh, no, I'm not getting on that one. That's, I'm on this one. Okay, no. This will not end well. <laughs> Stop! Whoa, let's go. Oh, hang out. Hang out. And Leah, she is all about aborting a mission and quickly. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. Oh my god, she just. I'm cool. I'm like, I'm not around. Get me off that. Did you see my? My type of chick. No need to wait for anyone to help you. Just get the job done yourself. And now, Dorinda and Luann, the last two remaining on their camels. Dorinda, I am gonna have nightmares. I just thought about John. I just thought about John. <laughs> I thought about it like one in the morning on John. So now after Luann and Dorinda bonded over camels, they feel like this is the perfect opportunity to discuss their issues from the night before. I feel like the camel ride was a good bonding experience for Dorinda and I, and I feel like this is the moment where I can talk to her. Oh God, here we go again. Dorinda bringing up going to prison about Luann. Nope, doesn't end well. Luann just wants to have a nice calm conversation and here goes Dorinda getting done offensive again bringing up well you did go to prison for your drinking blah 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 yelling and screaming and carrying on dorinda you need to stop getting so hype I didn't exactly stop, stop that first of all not, i have I, three wine spritzers yes i remember everything I'm that happened talking about your okay. drinking. there i said it it's getting fucking old Figure out your anger, girlfriend. Figure it out because your anger, it's coming from somewhere because you need to stop throwing shit in people's faces. It's not cute. You can't even have a conversation with anyone about anything without going on the defense and yelling and screaming and getting so angry. What is happening here? Figure it out. And now Dorinda, here she goes again, just making up stories to fit her narrative. You said, well, you know, in the past you have actually gotten drunk. You swear no, I did not. Did. Yes, you did. That never happened. Now she's making sh up to make herself feel better and putting the blame on me. Like everyone needs to stop deflecting and denying. Own your shit. Own it, baby. Own it. Own it. Where's Lisa Rinna when I need her? And here's my opinion. Dorinda needs to get new material. Stop bringing up Luann going to jail. Stop bringing up mug shots. Let's just all around stop talking about drinking and call it a day. We will see if this truce lasts. I call it now. Not long, bitch. By drinking, I won't bring up your drinking. Done. No, that's okay, like a pack. truce. Let's make a pack. Truce. Yes, I and now the best scene of the entire freaking episode. Oh, Are you okay? <laughs> Can we all make this Turtle Time 2.0? <laughs> it's now it's time for... It's your birthday night! It's your birthday night! It's, 
It's time to celebrate Sonarita. She deserves a night for herself. Happy birthday, Miss Sonarita. You deserve this. And this dude is the real MVP of this episode. And Luann dancing with this little mini man. Oh my God, y'all. I need a... That's intense. He literally comes up to her pussy. This man is the same height as her pussy. There, I said it. I'm not okay. I'm still Leah on this one. And oh my God, if they only knew what 2020 was about to have in store for all of them. 2020 is your year of good decisions, happiness, and freedom. Leah and Ramona, they are finally bonding. Very nice to see. And Leah asked Ramona how she was able to forgive Mario after he cheated on her. When I was getting divorced from my husband, I wake up so depressed. How did you forgive him? And Ramona said it was the best thing for her daughter. I thought of my daughter. Because you love her more than you love yourself or that you care about your ego, I get it. And you knew that it's the best thing for her. And that whole like bonding scene at the table between both of them, it was so nice to finally see. And here comes an outfit change. The other guests at that restaurant looked so uncomfortable and so confused and were like, Huh? And any chance Luann can sing, you bet your bottom dollar she's gonna fucking sing. Happy birthday to you. No, you I'll, I'll sing it. Go, go, go. Go, go, talk to her. All right, you know what, no. And here comes Dorinda, Tits McGee. And Ramona. And then we end the evening like this. Leah bringing up the one topic that should never be brought up. Bring on the Pussy Diaries 2.0. I am the unstoppable pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the chubbiest pussy ever. I don't shave my pussy. Leah, though, she knows how to push Ramona's buttons. Ramona doing what she does best, getting her ass up and running away. And Ramona, you are not a good Catholic girl, please. A good Catholic girl? I don't talk about that. Oh, shut, shut up. up, you are not. You bitch, you are turtle time. You know Never forget it. So that's all that happened during this week's episode of The Real Housewives of New York City. The reunion was just filmed, so the season is going to be coming to a close very, very soon. Let me know in the comments below, do you guys want me to review the reunion? Let me know, comment below. So that's all I have today. I will be back next week for another review of The Real Housewives of New York City. This has been my opinion. Make sure you go and check out Mingle. Get yourself a Mingle cocktail because it's, y'all, it's so good. Get yourself subscribed to my channel. Hit that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted and give this video a big ol' thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys next week. Don't be assholes. Bye!